to replace the igniter, the first thing you're going to want to do is unplug the grill. Then remove the grease tray, unscrew the heat shield adjustment rod, and remove the heat shield. Now go underneath the hopper, and you're going to want to disconnect the igniter wires. First, you'll have to cut the zip tie, and then you can go ahead and disconnect the wires. Once disconnected, go ahead and grab the igniter and pull it out through the burn pot. Now take your new igniter and slide it back through the igniter wire tube. The igniter leads will come out the other end of the tube and you'll be able to see them from underneath the hopper. The igniter wires will come out of the wall directly above where your combustion fan mounts. Go ahead and take those leads, pull them the rest of the way through, and reconnect. Now go ahead and plug your grill back in and fire it up. If you'd like, you can leave the internal components out and watch through the lid window if you have one to make sure the grill goes to the proper 0123 startup and lights a fire. If so, you're done. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this helpful.